thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the trademark registration process. The trademark registration process is the process um, by which uh, an individual or a company engages with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in order to secure words, logos, sounds, smells, or phrases for themselves. Trademarks are limited in nature. That means that if you get a trademark on a word or a logo, you don't own that word and logo outright. That the, the registration and the protection is really limited to the classification of goods and services that you indicate on your application and that you actually um, use. Trademarks are based on use. So in order to get a registration and to keep it, you actually have to be using it and you have to be using it in those areas in which you indicated on your application in order to, um, to, to, to keep that protection available to you under trademark law. The registration process is very different than a copyright. A lot of people think you can just send in a copy of the word and, or a logo and then show the trademark office that you're using it, and then they'll, they'll give you a registration. That's not exactly how it works. Um, a trademark application is pretty easy to produce in general, but the registration process can be quite lengthy. On average, it takes about nine to 15 months for a trademark application to get through the trademark office. There's not a whole lot you can do to make it quicker. There's no way to expedite it. It's a trademark, it's about money. You know, there, there are no lives on the line. So in general, the trademark office is, is not really in a rush to get around to your application. The best thing you can do, however, is to do a really thorough search. If you're not familiar with searching, there are classes on, on how to do a search. Google is your best friend. You can also pay for an attorney or a search firm to do those searches, some searches for you. I will link some of those in, um, in the notes to this um, video. Um, the registration process is pretty straightforward. You file your application elect electronically using the TEAS system. Probably three to six months after that, you're going to get a communication from the trademark office. The trademark office is going to say, hey, we're not giving you a trademark registration or yay, we're going to give you a trademark registration. Most trademark applications and patent applications as well, most of them are going to be rejected. Don't be discouraged if that happens. Um, the default from the trademark office and the patent office is actually to reject those applications. So don't be afraid. Read that response. It's called an office action. It's going to be emailed to you. Make sure your email is up to date in the trademark office because that's the only way, generally speaking, that they're going to communicate with you. You may get a nice trademark examiner who is willing to call you if that, that um, email doesn't get a response or if there's a bounce back. But for, for the most part, they're just going to shoot out an email to you. The email is going to be um, very extensive. It's going to explain the law behind the rejection or the allowance, and it's going to give you an opportunity to respond. What you do next can really drive how long it takes for you to get that trademark application through the system. You have about six months to respond. The examiner, however, has about a month to respond to you. So the quicker you respond, the quicker that registration process will end. So when you get that response, go ahead and act on it. Call your attorney or respond to the, respond to the, the office action yourself. To respond, you have to make sure you address each and every rejection, even if it seems like it's duplicative you still need to respond to each one. They can actually reject your application or reject your response as non-responsive simply because you failed to respond to one of their concerns in that office action. Once your application is allowed, meaning you guys have had a meeting of the minds in terms of what your trademark is and you've defined the limits to that trademark, then you, your application is going to be allowed. They'll send you a notice of allowance. Now, once you get a notice of allowance, it doesn't mean that your registration is necessarily going to issue into a trademark. There are a few more steps. If you filed an intent to use application, you'll then need to file a statement of use. That statement of use is telling the trademark office, hey, I'm now using the mark. Like I've said before, you have to use the mark to get a registration. So, you could have an allowed intent to use trademark application, 
that never matures into a trademark. Why? It's because you haven't used it. So you're either going to file a specimen with a statement of use during, regi during the, the, the registration process or after it's actually allowed. Once it's allowed, you'll have to pay a fee and submit a statement of use along with a specimen. Once that specimen is accepted, then the application will... Once the application issues, then your... Once the application issues and your statement of use has been filed, then your application will be published. It's going to be published for opposition. It's called the opposition period. During that period, anyone who thinks that you shouldn't have that trademark for any reason can file an affidavit with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and they can attempt to stop issuance of your trademark. There's technology that we as attorneys use to go out and look for potential competitors that are in that opposition period. If we believe that one of our clients are going to be harmed by the issuance of a trademark, we will go ahead and file a notice of opposition. A notice of opposition can start what is really a quasi-legal process. At that point, the trademark owner will have to prove that his or her trademark should be allowed to issue into a registration above the arguments of the opposer. You will need an attorney if that happens. That's not generally something that a lay person can do on their own. Now, if you win the opposition, if there is an opposition, then your registration will issue and you'll have a valid trademark. Again, limited to the goods and services that you've actually used the mark in. There is yet another opportunity for someone to intervene and to disallow your trademark registration. That's called a cancellation. The real difference between a cancellation and opposition is simply timing. Cancellation happens after you actually have a registration. Again, you file a notice of cancellation seeking to cancel the registration. An opposition says, hey, I oppose the issuance of the trademark application. That's going to happen before issuance, after allowance. I hope this helps you understand the trademark registration process. The most important part of this is to be patient and understand that it's going to take about 9 to 15 months. The quicker you respond to those office actions, the quicker you'll have your trademark 